So I'm going to start this evening by talking a little bit about the importance of late blight. Then Sally's going to give her presentations. And then I will come back and talk about occurrence in management. So to start with, um, the reason we're having this webinar is late blight is a really important disease. And I want to make sure you all understand that. It is arguably the most destructive disease that we have, can decimate um, production areas pretty darn fast, unfortunately. It can be very difficult to manage, generally requires inputs of fungicides. And it's especially difficult to manage after it has started, which makes it very difficult. Generally, we like to wait until we see a disease outbreak before we decide whether to intervene. But that can be very hard with late blight. It is a highly contagious disease. The, a pathogen produces an abundance of spores. That's that white, fluffy stuff you see on the underside of the leaves. Those are easily moved by wind and can move on to another garden or farm. Thus, it becomes a community disease. We all need to know where late blight is occurring. And we need to, that helps us in being able to manage it on our, in our own gardens or farms. And I've got one example here that I wanted to share with you just to, to illustrate how destructive this disease can be. This is an organic farm where I am, last planting when symptoms broke out, just before fruit were going to be ripe. Symptoms on the leaves, on the fruit when first seen. And some of the plants were just extremely severely hit. This is the first time this farmer saw it in, his, on his, in this planting. Clearly too severe to have managed it. And he had been applying copper, but it had been 10 days since the last spray. There just wasn't enough material there to protect the crop. Tried to save it. He was unable to save it. And I just wanted to share that story just to, to illustrate how destructive this disease can be. And now we have a quick poll question for you all. And it, we'd all appreciate knowing just who's had late blight on their farm in the past or in your garden. If it's been every year, just only the past year. Um, so you've got about 20 seconds, if you don't mind, helping us out by giving us some feedback on whether or not you've had late blight. I think it will help us all to understand where it's been. And then we'll move on with the presentation. So it looks like most of you only had late blight last year. Very interesting. Thank you very much for your time. 